Hello everyone, I'm the Mole Man, and um, well, what you're looking at right now is Diesel Railcar Simulator. It's a new simulator that I've found that's, uh, well, it's promising, but at the moment it'll probably look rather terrible. That's because it's running on the lowest graphic settings. That's because I'm recording on my trusty old laptop. For those of you who don't follow me on Twitter, we're going we're to ignore the zero miles per hour thing there. For those of you who don't follow me on Twitter... Uh, my computer, it's, uh, it, it's, it, it stuffed itself, essentially. So all I'm left with now is, uh, well, this, my laptop, which I used to make videos on over two years ago. So to make them on it again feels very strange. Very strange indeed. It running Intel Graphics HD 4000 for the win. That's what we're looking at right now. So it's not exactly the best to be trying to make anything out of, but, you know... If you watch videos on this with full graphics, it's actually a very nice simulator, actually. But we're going to be just driving it along for a little while whilst I explain what's going on. So yes, with uh, with no computer, I uh, I therefore can't really make videos on a regular basis. I'm making this one, but it's janky and horrible and pain to do. And my computer's probably my laptop's probably going to overheat soon. It's already starting to run terribly. So it's it's all it's all that all that lark really. So, what am I doing right now? Right now, I'm saving up for a new computer. Which means that after this video, there probably won't be that many more at all. Because editing this is going to be a nightmare. I'm going to be stuck with Windows Movie Maker. I'm only going to have the stuff that I used to have over two years ago. So, the old intros and outros. I can't really access anything else right now. Old logos and all that jazz. So, uh, this video might feel like a step back in time for some of you. But, uh... Know that I'm doing the best that I can. Um, I'm, I'm going to be saving hard, and when I've um, when I've got enough money to get a new computer, I will do so. So that's fun. That's fun. But that that there will be a complete and utter drought of videos until I can get a new one. So I hope you'll understand. There is literally nothing I can do about it. So that's fun. I can play this for a little while though. It runs very well considering it's on a laptop. This is the lowest graphic settings, but, you know, still looks pretty good. It doesn't, you know, I mean, the, the best quality is still not fantastic. It's an early, early simulator. Well, you know, you, you can you can buy into it and stuff, so I'll leave a link in the description. So, yes, what I would, what I would recommend you do, just shameless self-plugging here, is... Oh, AWS, is um, follow me on Twitter. That's where you're going to be getting the most frequent updates on the situation. Because it's the one place where I can reliably post. Speeding slightly. It's the one place where I can reliably post. Because it just I can do that on my phone and stuff like that. I can't really make train sim videos on my phone. I can't live stream train sim on my phone. I can't play it. So, you know. I'm in a bit of a tight spot here. And I just wanted to try and get a video out to let you guys know that uh, it's going to be a drought. Um, there's nothing I can do about it. I hope you understand. But, yeah. That's, there's not much else to say, really. Apart from this is actually quite a nice simulator. I'm looking forward to playing it on a decent machine. That's for sure. That's definitely for sure. Going past another train. That's it. Lovely stuff. It's literally diesel rail car simulator, so it simulates heritage DMUs like this. That's it. High quality action. That's what I'm talking about. Lovely stuff. So yes, uh, no, no. I'm just gonna, I'm keep rambling now, aren't I? That's what I do. It's my, it's that's my shtick. Uh, yeah, no computer. Got a new computer desk. Bought that, and then my computer completely, utterly failed. So that's, uh, that's awkward. So I've now got a computer desk with nothing to put on it apart from my old laptop. But uh, you know, we'll just have to hang. Oh, I can speed up. We'll just have to hang in there for the time being. I'm afraid. There's not much else to say. There really isn't. Apart from 60 miles an hour, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. I've got to say, it's simulated very nicely in some of the cameras. You can see all the bogeys bumping up and down there. Stuff is stuff. There's simple drive, which is fantastic. Right, so we now power down. And gear shift. There we go. If you've driven a Heritage DMU in train sim, you'll 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 understand what I'm doing. Mechanical gears and all that lot. But uh, yeah, an interesting little simulator for it. It's only about well, it's fourteen ninety nine dollars. So when you add tax onto that, you're probably paying about thirteen fourteen pounds. Probably something similar in euros. So uh, 
yeah, considering it's in its early days, I'd recommend it. And I'm looking forward to being able to show it off properly with a new computer, along with all the other stuff that's coming out for Train Sim and all the other games. Oh, that's AWS. What? 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 Okay, that's a cautionary signal. Right. Okay. So let's break. Trouble is, because the graphics are so bad, I can't see what the brakes are at. We'll just leave it at that and try and come to a stop. I think it's, a, uh, it's a st Abbott's Grove. There you go. It's a completely fictional route. And the uh, that, that event essentially allows the creator to do whatever they want, which is lovely. Anyway, we're gonna we'll come to a top stop at this station and then um well, what can I say? No, that'll be it for a little while. Because <laughs> I can't I can't keep making videos on this, let's say, because uh, this Alright, breaks off. This is not a medium for const constantly making videos on. It really isn't. That's it, it's to be back up again. I can't I used to be able to do it on my laptop, but it's uh She's old now. It's taken a lot of work to get her just to be able to make this one. Looking forward to trying to edit it. Because that's a great laugh. Because I've also been out and um, whilst during, during this downtime I've been spending a lot of time sort of out and about. I went to London and stuff and filmed trains, saw the Buffer Puffer Rail Tour. But I, uh, I'm, I'm hesitant to try and edit that footage in uh, Movie Maker. So you'll see that sort of stuff when I get a new computer as well. It's amazing how limiting it really is. Go. Let's come to a stop. Anywhere along here is good, really. Not looking to be accurate here. Not looking to be accurate at all. What cameras we got? There we go. Lovely stuff. So, hello, lady. How are you doing? Yeah, the passengers don't move yet. That's slightly awkward, but there we go. So, there's not much else to say other than, yeah, this is going to be it for a little while, folks. And, uh, yeah. Sorry, not sorry. There's literally nothing I can do about it, but, um,. Whenever it shall be, I shall let you know on Twitter. But until then, I shall see you in the next video.